Welcome back to the Tropical Update. It's Saturday, September 2nd. I'm Tom. I'll be guiding you through graphics. And tonight we're going to be talking about Hurricane Irma out in the Atlantic. We're also going to be talking about a new wave that has moved off of Africa. And what's significant about that is it's uh, fairly south of where they normally come off of, which means it could intensify the next three to four days. First up, let's look at Irma. And this is the 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Advisory, Friday. And uh, it's 1,405 miles east of the Leeward Islands. The winds are 115 miles an hour. 967 millibars the pressure and it was moving west at 14 miles an hour they expect this motion probably for about maybe the next six to eight hours and um, with our next graphic you'll see that they're expecting it to start making a southwesterly turn that movement for a while and then sometime possibly monday that it starts to make a northwesterly turn and uh, this is all very far out uh, the northwesterly turn next up is going to be um, this is the likely arrival time of tropical force winds and um, with most hurricanes the convection and the storms are usually on the northeast quadrant so if it goes north of the islands they may see some rough seas some rain and possibly tropical force winds if uh, it gets close enough but the worst will stay out to see in that northeast quadrant uh, next up is going to be our computer models and um, they are showing that uh, the Bahamas and possibly the east coast of Florida uh, or the east coast of the U.S. for that matter uh, could have some problems. Um, but remember that really more than three to four days out they can be off by hundreds of miles. So um, we can't really go by these. They're just for guidance. And here's another one and it's showing sort of the same thing but it is showing that um, Irma will go north of the leewards north of Puerto Rico and uh, Dominican Republic and um, Cuba but it does show that it could uh, impact the Bahamas so they need to be on the lookout and here's another one just to show you and it's showing too that it's going to go north of the islands not to say that the islands won't feel any effects but they uh, definitely at this point is not going to get a direct hit from Irma next up this is the latest uh, satellite photo we have and um, what we see with this is the eye has uh, collapsed in but that's normal these storms uh, they go up and down in, in intensity that's very normal for this and here's one from earlier today and you can see the convection near the center and you can see the eye wall so they any storm that's usually a category three will have its uh, ups and downs and uh, it's not an indication that it's getting weaker uh, this is just just how they work uh, next up, um, this just shows you where the islands are. You can see Dominican, you can see Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and um, all the other ones down through there, down to St. Vincent. And uh, right now it looks like they're not going to be getting any of this other than maybe some wind and possibly some rain. Uh, this is showing the, the sea temperatures and I've marked these circles on here and um, you'll see that off of the coast of Florida near the Bahamas very warm water and also down near the islands the Windward Islands down near Grenada and off of the uh, South America is very warm that area and this is just sort of showing uh, possible track 
and again it's showing it north of the islands and possibly the islands getting some um, tropical force winds um, again it's so far away 1400 miles that things are going to definitely change between now and when it even gets close to the islands and this this is what we wanted to say this is the five day graphical and you can see that area off of the uh, off of Africa and how far south it is and if it keeps moving west like they're expecting it to it's going to run into those very warm waters uh, that we just seen off of um, South America and down near Grenada in that area so got to keep a good eye on it now this is from NOAA this is about their extended outlook errors and uh, it just shows that the track has averaged nearly 150 nautical miles error over a four day when you go four days out and when you go five days out it can be up to 200 nautical miles error so anytime you see these computer tracks on the web that says oh yeah in five days it's going to be here or there uh, don't believe them because uh, they're just an educated guess. And uh, even with NOAA, uh, they're not putting, they're even saying that uh, there's a large error. Uh, okay, the next thing is you should have your basic hurricane supplies by now on hand. Uh, canned food, water, batteries, a weather radio is great. Cell phones are fine, but towers fail. We've seen that in Harvey. Uh, your house, if you um, lose power, it means you're going to have no router, which means you're going to have no internet. Uh, it's great to have an AM, FM radio. They're cheap. And also a battery TV. I had a battery TV in Andrew, and it was one of the greatest things I had because I could watch the TV stations and watch the radar. I could uh, watch uh, their reports and that was really great well thank you for tuning in today and we're gonna keep uh, an eye on that wave as it uh, could be a real problem here within seven to ten days for the islands um, we're also going to be watching Irma as the new computer models come in today and see uh, which way it's gonna move if they're gonna move it further out into the ocean or they're going to move it further west, which means it could interact with the islands. Well, thank you, and have a great day.